Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do another spooky reaction video. This one is to play some top five, top five scary ghost videos that will make your heart race. Let's hope it's a good creepy one. Remember to pop by Facebook's channel and drop them a sub if you haven't already done so. He is quite entertaining, so hoping this will be a good video. Um, sub to my channel if you haven't already done so. It'll be very much appreciated. Hit the thumbs up on the video and leave feedback in the comments um and leave your thoughts on any of the clips that's going to come up or whatever uh, if you want to discuss it do so there or come by my live streams um make sure you ring the bell for alerts for when i do go live um if you don't want to come by and have a chat I'd be very grateful for that in the meantime let's get the cans on let's give this a watch and let's hope it's a good creepy one shall we Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Get ready to watch 5 scary videos of ghosts caught on camera. Number 1. Number 1. A man that goes by JB runs the Dino Nuggets 741 YouTube channel where he consistently uploads videos of the disturbing paranormal activity inside of his home. We recently took a look at an encounter he had. Loud banging and a disembodied voice were coming from upstairs. His heart was pounding and his hands were trembling as he searched for the source of these sounds. But after finding no one, he was left with the chilling thought that a dark entity was lurking within the shadows of his home. Several comments suggested that he play a prayer in an attempt to rid his home of this spirit. As you Listening did. to their advice, he did just that. And these are the chilling events that followed. The blood of Jesus is shielding and covering the roof of this house or even this apartment. We pray, declaring that no evil has the power to enter this house or disturb the sleep of those who dwell within. In the name of Jesus Christ, may this home be completely covered by the Lord, guarded 24 hours a day by the mighty angels of God. Amen. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, crap. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So, guide me along the paths of righteousness for okay. his sake. Okay, that's... Even though I walk through the valley of Quite the loud. of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. What the hell? You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the that is extreme. forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to prophesy provision over this home. Lord, you are our shepherd, and we shall not lack anything. We declare that abundance enters this home, prosperity, wealth, and financial victories. We declare to God that you are the provider of our house, the provider of this home. Your word says, Lord, that you give to your children even while they sleep. Therefore, Father, I believe that during this night of rest, this person will be blessed by you. Their plans, projects, Is that connections, brilliant? sales, and businesses will be released by the Lord while they sleep. We place everything in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh dear. Wow. The work of this person, the work of everyone in this home, so that it may be fruitful, productive, and bring great joy to this family. That is extreme. I mean... It could just be the neighbour pissed off because he's built that blast and whatever time, but that is a pretty extreme banging and that shattering and stuff. It's a shame we can't kind of see other aspects like, but In the name of Jesus we'll see what Christ, else comes. I declare... The power gone off. As the prayer played, several aggressive knocks came from upstairs. These knocks went on, soon followed by the sound of a door slamming shut. Then suddenly, without warning, the glass on the face of the clock shattered, falling to the floor. 
In the moments that followed, a large shadowy figure appeared in the doorway down the hall. With this menacing it. black silhouette loomed in the doorway, peering down the hall towards the TV playing the prayer. Then suddenly the TV turned off. This figure then slowly retreated back into the room and out of view. Later on, JB recorded an update showing what was damaged during this spine-chilling encounter. So the I didn't actually see the figure there. I thought I saw something, but I thought it was just the the light of the telly sort of flashing, but that's mad. This is my house. Lights, pretty normal. So in that video, you'll hear two things break. This is my awesome stepson. I try not to have glass in the house for this very reason, but it, uh, it broke. That was the first one you heard broke in the video. Second one is this clock, which you guys have probably seen in a number of my videos outside of here. Notice there's, there's no damage. Just one thing wrong. It's, it's missing the glass. It exploded, and you can literally barely touch this thing, and it goes out. So let's take it over here. That's meant. There's the glass. Naturally, I cleaned it up. I don't want to step on some sh but normal clock. It's cool. So I taped the battery on, nothing special, just the clock. Again, there you go. From a framed photo of his stepson to the large clock shattering, it's very clear that the entity in his home is capable of causing damage. According to JB, he's been dealing with this entity for the last 10 years, and no matter how many times he moves or what he tries, nothing seems to get rid of it. So it's actually following him around. Bloody hell. That was pretty creepy, to be fair. Um, what do you guys think? Like I said, initially, it could have just been somebody in another room or a neighbour, but... Creepy nonetheless, what do you guys think? Number two. Every night around 1 a.m. over a two-week period, something incredibly bizarre was caught on camera. Reddit user Lil Smrzinski posted a video to the Paranormal Encounter subreddit, desperately looking for answers. According to this user, an unidentified bright light would illuminate the night sky for a few brief moments before disappearing. And this is the footage he attached. so powerful that for a moment it looked as if it were now daytime but a few seconds later this light completely vanished leaving no trace that anything had happened this reddit user is extremely confused and has no idea how to explain this so if anyone has any ideas feel free to leave them in a comment below mental no. that was bright that was bright and it just seemed to suddenly disappear like instantly it Took its time getting there, but then it just went. It happens quite frequently. What do you guys mean of that? I mean, obviously, people would jump to UFOs and things, but I don't know. There could be some other explanation for that. I always know what you guys think. Number three. Over on the English Woodsman YouTube channel, a man named Daniel has been uploading videos about camping for the last eight years. Although he claims he's not an expert, he's uploaded countless videos of his wild camping, stealth camping, and woodland camping trips over the years. Well, in August of 2023, Daniel uploaded a video that was out of the ordinary for his channel. In this video, Daniel set out to camp in the woodlands close to his home. He made his way through the woods, stopping to eat a few berries and showing off what his dinner would be later on. 
After a trek down a path, Daniel finally decided on a spot to set up camp. I don't think crisps are the kind of things you want to eat if you come and like, if you get caught short. He began preparing his food, but it was at this moment that things took an unsettling turn. I'm going to be out Friday night, but I'm going away Saturday, so I've got a bit of a drive as well, so I didn't want to be tired. And it's going to throw it down Friday night as well, and rain camping is really good. He looks genuinely... Is that a badger? Confused. Hello? That's getting closer. You must be able to see something. It's stopped. I hope I got that on camera. I really hope I did. Because if I didn't, and I'm showing this, <laughs> people won't believe that. Just my heart's beating a bit quicker there. I'll just give you a full circle round of what I'm looking at. Now, apart from them in the distance playing whatever they're doing, whatever sport they're doing, football or something, I've said like some or someone walked literally past me. It did sound close. While talking to the camera, the sound of footsteps came out of nowhere, sounding like someone was quickly approaching and now walking eerily close to where Daniel was sitting. Growing concerned, he quickly stood up to scan the area, but there was no one around. Although he was creeped out, he continued preparing his meal. But as time went on, things only got weirder. There's that noise again now. Hello? Hello? You got a bit of that. There could be animals There's like There's nobody here. It sounds. And it sounds like somebody's heavy. walking around. I, I can handle it one. Can you wear it? How can I that? It's like it's just there. Coming from somewhere close by. That does sound close, that mine. That would be terrifying. These disembodied footsteps had returned. He immediately got up and began investigating the nearby area. But his blood ran cold when he once again realized that there was no one there. Despite these chilling encounters, Daniel went on to eat his meal, then later on set up camp for the night. But while in a sleeping bag, the sound of footsteps coming from the darkness caught his attention. I'm going to be honest, I can't stay here now. No, I'm going to be a wimp. I don't care if people call me a wimp in the comments, but I can't stay here. I'm, I'm too unsettled. I'm nervous. I've done camping like this a load of times. I think I'm going to go find somewhere else to get this bivvy set up. But I, I'm leaving this spot. I packed my stuff away and already I'm regretting it. <laughs> I'm regretting packing away. 
but I just keep doing it. I've got one side of my turn need to stop being stupid. It's an animal, it's animals. And I've got other side saying, well, it didn't sound like that earlier. Ultimately, Daniel decided to leave the woods completely and head back home. A decision that could have possibly saved his life if those footsteps belonged to a person. But if this wasn't a person, then what exactly was in the woods? That's creepy, that mind. Fair play at one. But it did seem really close and pretty heavy, whatever it was. There is no way you think. Would you stay there? Number four. Point Furman Park is a notable destination in San Pedro, California. The park covers approximately 37 acres with beautiful views of the Pacific Ocean. One of the park's main attractions is the historic Point Furman Lighthouse, which was built in 1874. But rumors of a haunting surround the lighthouse, as visitors and staff have reported hearing footsteps, seeing unexplained lights, and experiencing a general sense of unease, especially inside the lighthouse. It have been built on a graveyard or something stupid. It's said that the ghost of the lighthouse keeper still lingers in this area after dying under mysterious circumstances. Throughout the park itself, people have reported hearing disembodied voices and echoes of footsteps. Well, early one Saturday morning, TikTok user Nicole Gomez was at the park recording a few videos of the view. But when she later rewatched her videos, she noticed something that sent a chill down her spine. voice can be heard and sounds like it's saying look at it mate it's the ocean look at it mate it's the ocean look at it mate it's the ocean while standing on the cliff nicole was completely alone and didn't hear anyone talking in the moment but there's no denying that a raspy man's voice was captured in this video Nicole believes this could potentially be the ghost of the lighthouse keeper, or possibly one of the people that tragically fell from the cliffs. Whoever this voice belongs to, I'd rather not find out for myself, so I will definitely not be taking any trips to this park. Number 5 That was bizarre. I thought it was just her. Oh, not her, it was someone with her. But it was that clear. Oof, that's mad. A few videos back, we took a look at the terrifying haunting of a woman named Rosanna. Her entire TikTok account is dedicated to documenting the unsettling poltergeist activity inside of her apartment. French she recently left, getting out of the apartment for two weeks to get away from this chilling activity. But as soon as she came back, things took a terrifying turn. voice calling out to her from her daughter's room she slowly approached the door swung open almost as if this entity that is terrifying like but it's another one of them where it's like too much and too good if you know what i mean it would be terrifying if it's genuine or like i'd be out of there i wouldn't be there at all that's creepy as 
And I thought it was somebody playing on the CD player at first, but obviously she checked there was no CD tape or batteries even in it. Mental. He was inviting her in, and once inside, the boombox began to go off, while the drawers started opening and closing on their own. Rosanna panicked as she desperately tried to turn off the boombox, only to find out that there weren't any batteries inside to begin with. The drawers continued aggressively sliding back and forth as she backed out of the room. And as she did, the disembodied voice returned, calling out Mom over bit. and over. I have to admit, this video looks incredibly genuine, but let me know what you think. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. Yeah, make As sure you always, do. if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and Yeah. Extreme. There were some good clips again there, to be honest. There was, I enjoyed that. There were some good ones there, but that... that French lass at the end there, that's just mental that. I wouldn't know how you would start faking any of that, to be honest, but scary stuff. That is the voice change at the end and everything was just creepy as what do you guys make of it all? Let us know what you think in the comments. As I said, if you want to come by and have a chat when I go live just ring the bell on my channel and get an alert for when I go live and you can come by and we can have a chat about any of these. But, yeah, some good stuff there. Um, there will be bonus episodes for members if you want to join up. Be very grateful for that and support the channel. All the money will go back into the channel to improve the quality and make things look a bit prettier for you guys. And I don't much about the fear, so, unfortunately. But yeah, um, let us know what you think, and I'll catch you in the next one. I do appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.